Hi everyone. I hope you're doing well. So, what can I hold up in front of the camera? I don't know. Um, I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm dismayed. I found another problem. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get this server ready to go deploy. Hello, Sparky. And I was concerned about the, the backup situation. Let me tell you a recap. So. I, I've, I've already done some backup testing on this server after setting up backup running a few times and I, I wiped the drives and booted from a stick and restored the server with my backup so that, that was fabulous that's how it should be done the problem I'm having is restoring individual virtual machines or files on the Hyper-V host let's talk about the virtual machines first so No, let's talk about the files first. Uh, so, whenever you launch backup wizard in recovery mode, you get some, you get some warning messages. Sorry, Sparky, you gotta go. In the in the event logs, uh, system event logs, claiming that there's a disk has a write protect on it, and it lists about three or four times different disk numbers. And I've tried searching, looking at VSS admin, and and, and I can't find any shadow copies or any kind of disks virtual or physical that match the description it says so it's mystery but the files recover and the same thing happens with virtual machines except the virtual machines fail so i decided today all right i got i got a i got a lab server 2019 in downstairs in the office and i got the brand new 2019 production server so I took the backups from each of them and swapped them restored two virtual machines one from each one so they 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 they, they, they both failed oh, pardon me they, 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 well they, did, they didn't they didn't both say they failed the, the lab server one failed with the backup from the production server the production server said it, it was successful from the lab server but but it won't start so it's so it's so it's two fails as far as i'm concerned All right so so i looked at the lab server first and what i found is is the it, it's got a it's got the, the, the big long path of the old the old server location and 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 it doesn't start because I don't know. Anyway, so all I did was take take the virtual machine files, which are at the end of the the, the path, uh, delete all the folders in between them, and put them up where they belong, and then it worked. Now on the production machine, it's a different story. I'm kind of stuck right now because. Uh, it's, it says completed. I have, oh, maybe I, maybe I've got to close the window. Maybe that will help. I don't know. Anyway, the virtual machine won't start. Let me, let me try it again. No error occurred. The virtual machine cannot open the file at F program day, and it's not on F. The problem is it's not on F. It's on D. Anyway. So, so what do I want to do? I want to I want I want to edit it, right? And and it, and it it appeared in the Hyper-V management console. The the other one did not appear there. It never mapped it. I had to map it manually, import it manually. So I go to settings, and I everything's grayed out. I can only inspect it. I can't make any changes, and I, and I don't know why. Well, well, it says here. Let me, let me read it for you. It says here. Oh. No, no, no! It's working. No, no, it's okay. No, no, it's uh. No, it seems to be okay. Let's let's try it again. Oh no! Still fail to see. Cannot find file F program files. 
Rose was the in server. Okay. I gotta try and find that, that file on that path. See, I don't know what it's talking about. But it's not an F, it's in D. Okay, so there's, a, there's an F path here somewhere. Here, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save you the, the, the board. And I, I'll be, I'll be back. Ooh, something else I want to mention. On the lab server, while I was importing the machine that allegedly failed, it asked me about the network card. It, it, you know, because it's a different machine, different, different cards. It wasn't available, but it asked me twice. And when I finished the wizard, they were listed twice. So when I went, in, I expected to have to delete one, but it's, it's not there. So another weird, weird occurrence. That's all I wanted to tell you. Back to my search. Anyway, so I, I, I've taken a look at it, and I, I think the path is too deep because the files are there. I think I think it's just too far, too deep a path. So, so I'm going to shorten it up like I did on the other machine, and we'll see how that goes. Okay, so that didn't go well. So my production machine doesn't recognize it as being a virtual machine. So I'm, I'm going to re-restore it again and try something else. Okay, I did it all again. It failed again. So I, I restored it to uh, drive E this time. The, the other server has a drive F. There is no drive F on this machine. But uh, part of the fail to start message is virtual machine cannot open file F program file program data Microsoft. Well, it can't open it because it doesn't exist. There is no there is no F on this machine. There's something else too. So it's just all wrong. So I'm going to close that up. I'm going to try to import it without changing it and see what happens. Okay, not going good here. I'll spare you the struggle. So I can import it, but it's very strange. Normally, the uh, folder you go to is the name of the, of the virtual machine, and then there's three directories below that: virtual machines, virtual disks, and uh, snapshots. But you got to go one level deeper for some reason. I'm gonna see what happens if I, I, I try to import it now. Here we go. Oh, wait. I think I need to delete the one that's already there. Okay, now it's gone. I think there's a conflict there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I, I don't know what to think. It's so you cannot use a backup from a different server 2019 server that's basically the identical operating system and restore virtual machines to a, a different one or this one in particular. I, don't, I, I have to fire up another one and see how many are affected, just this one or or many. But this always worked in since 2008, 2012 ours not not ours you could always restore them back and forth how can I test that this backup is good if I can't restore to the machine from another from another server I can't build something on another server and migrate it here because it fails to install it 
anyway, I'm going to work on this. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Oh, one more thing. This is crazy. So I, I tried to reword the folder tree as best to the original, except drive E instead of drive F. And I moved it in position, but all of a sudden it, it couldn't it couldn't recognize it as a virtual machine to import. And I discovered the virtual machine files, three file, two files in a folder were suddenly missing. Now, I didn't delete them. I, I didn't open it. I, I moved the whole cluster around by the top level directory. Anyway, so I, I, rest, I restored them from uh, from backup. So we'll see what happens. And I was I was successful. I reorganized the file structure, and for some reason it works. And I'm, I was able to import it. And I'm going to start it right now. Drum roll, please. Here we go. Yeah, it works. So, how's that for disaster recovery? You hope, hope like how you can work some magic trying to restore these files. So, up in, for, for the last 15 years, this used to be a clean operation. You just mounted a backup from another server, restored a virtual machine for that other server, and it, it, it was happy in its new home and it started right away and we're fine. No longer is that the case. What the hell's happened to Windows Server 2019? I don't know but it's bad. Okay, I think I'm done this time. Thanks for watching, everyone.